I can say that I'm pro-life in the sense that I affirm every living human on this earth and that I'm prayerfully pro-choice. We respect the reproductive rights of women. In the Islamic tradition, there are times in which abortion is permissible, but generally it, we, we, we try and affirm life. But there's a separate issue, which is if you disagree from whatever our religious tradition is, how do you go about expressing that disagreement? When you talk to anybody who has difference, whether it's around abortion, having guns, get, getting rid of guns, all of these issues, that what we lack is an ability to listen to each other. And I think we would all agree that in committing act of violence is a transgression, not just of the law, but of our religious values. When you look at that text of, of Genesis, you see the part where it says they were created in God's image, men and women yeah. together. Men and women have been created in equal footing. The Islamic tradition in many ways is a feminist tradition. From the teachings of Muhammad in which he conveyed through the message of the Quran that women have the right to own property, the right to inherit property, to have their permission before they're married off, and they also have the right to divorce. However, what has happened is that Islam spread to other chauvinistic patriarchal cultures and culture trumps religion. So how do get we highlighted. get the rest of Muslims to understand that? <laughs> or Jews yeah, or Christians Christian who continue matter. to see women in this terribly subservient role and back it up with scripture of all kinds and keep women out of positions of power and treat us in families in ways that are just horrible. I think education is the key, and that's why my focus right now is, is in education. There has been always strong women who have argued with their fathers and grandfathers and brothers to make room for themselves, and thank God they have, because there have opened a door that now at this moment of history, this very new moment in Jewish history, to allow for women rabbis. To be very transparent, Islam suggests that sexual relations should only take place between a man and a woman in the context of marriage. That being said, uh, to be homophobic or to be discriminatory or to be exclusive is uh, against the values of Islam. Mm. Yeah, I would say to the question of homosexuality, yes. <laughs> I see homosexuality as an ongoing um, revelation and evolution of human relationships and an expression, a full expression of God's love in the world. Yeah, I, I, that argument that a gay or lesbian wedding makes someone else's marriage not whole is quite stunning, right? I mean, it's, uh, it's about bringing more love into the world and the core of our religious traditions are about love. I think that there are many paths to the divine, many revelations of God in the world. I believe that it's about following Christ as opposed to making people believe. There is a, a, a verse in chapter 2 of the Quran, those who believe, Jews, Christians, Sabians, whoever so believes in God on the day of judgment and does good will find the reward with their Lord. One of the things that happens with folks who believe that their way is the only way is that they, in this terrible, blasphemous jump of arrogance make themselves God. And out of that, they kill other people. And unfortunately, all three of our traditions have humans who do this, yeah. who act as if they are God. All three of our traditions have terrorists who kill humans in the name of it must be hatred and violence because I won't call it God. They are not of God. Take a risk and find someone of a different tradition and ask about it. Mm -hmm. Ask with curiosity and openness. Be moved towards empathy, towards mm -hmm. their experience. Action for justice, actions of compassion, serving at soup kitchens together, yes. doing the work of our faith traditions in the, on the streets. And we can use the organizing force of our communities to not only address those as individual communities, but to get uh, get to know one another across religious traditions to address some of the most important issues mm -hmm. facing our community and our world. Mm -hmm.